Well, welcome back. We are talking with City Arborist Jared Weaver about the City of Bowling Green Arbor Day celebration events. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me on. And you're with Bowling Green Parks and Recreation. Yes. And so tell me about Arbor Day. When is it? It is this coming Saturday, April 15th. Um, the opening ceremony is at 9 and then we'll, we'll go till about noon and uh, hopefully we'll run out of trees right around noon. But we've got uh, about 1,200 trees to hand out to the public. Okay, so other than um, handing out trees, which is really cool, because you brought one with you. Yeah, yeah, we've got a red maple here. We've got quite a variety of trees, something to fit every yard. We've got flowering trees and shade trees. Oh, um, nice. Hopefully we can, we can find something for everyone, um, especially the people who lost trees in the tornado last year or the yeah. wind events this year. We want to try to help restore the canopy of Bowling Green and provide all those great benefits to that sure. trees provide for us. Yeah, some areas sure have changed the canopy for sure. Absolutely. So tell me what other things are going to be going on during this event? Uh, we've got all kinds of information. We've got things like this uh, tree owner's manual and I'll be on hand to answer questions in the tree board well as well. Mm -hmm. um, BGMU will be there to talk about the right tree right place program to make sure we plant trees in the right place and not under power lines. Okay. Um, <laughs> bike good. walk BG will be there as well to have their bike rodeo um, to help encourage kids to get outside and enjoy the trails around Bowling Green. And we'll have other, some other organizations, WKU, WKU will be there to hand out compost. Just bring your own container to take some compost home to help your new tree get established. Okay. Okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's always a good time. Um, I think the weather's going to hold out for us Saturday morning. We're crossing our fingers for that. Um, but even if not, it'll be a great day to plant your tree. If we get a little bit of rain, trees love the water. That they sure do. So why is a day like Arbor Day and an event like this important to our community? Um, it helps us celebrate trees and the great benefits they provide. Um, we, and we're lucky in Kentucky. We're fairly rural. We have a lot of trees around us out in the, in the community. But uh, Arbor Day is to help us understand the value of trees and the benefits benefits they provide for us within the city. They help clean our air, clean our water. They do a lot of very important things for us in our environment. And Arbor Day helps us, uh, helps us understand exactly how those trees do that benefit for us. And it helps us get trees out to plant in the community. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so if, if someone can't show up that day um, on Saturday, what, how, how uh, okay, I'm, I'm getting tongue tied here. What are other ways that people can celebrate Arbor Day? Um, the state has another Arbor Day. The, there's usually other organizations such as the Warren County Conservation District that hands out free trees. I'm not sure of the other dates as well. Um, but you can always visit our website. It's bgky.org slash tree. We've got all kinds of information on there. Um, the, our National Arbor Day Foundation has lots of great information on uh, how to tear for your trees. They have really affordable small sapling trees like this. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there's a, a number of local nurseries as well where you can guy, buy some great trees, get great advice from them. Uh, Retree BG also has a program to replant trees in the community mm -hmm. um, to help re restore the canopy as well as Operation Pride. They're also having uh, tree planting events. So you can contact those other organizations as well and, and uh, help find a way to get a tree planted back in your yard. Okay, so where is this going to take place? This will be at Cariacus Park. That's off of Cemetery Road. And what time again? Uh, the opening ceremony is at 9 and we'll go till about noon. Okay, and just free to the public, everyone's welcome to show up? Absolutely, free to the public. We've, we should have plenty of free trees to give away as well as the tree owner's manuals and cool things like the, this water bottle and we'll have all, all kinds of great things for the public to take home with them and learn about how to care for their trees. Yeah, okay, I think this is a great thing for kids to get involved with, that way they can start learning about you know trees and, and taking care of you know the things that we need to breathe, the oxygen that the trees you know release and all that and, and the importance of yeah. Absolutely. We've got uh, the Cub Scouts there to help us hand out trees. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. They help us with the flag ceremony and help us distribute trees. But uh, we try to get them young so they can uh, take that value of trees and understand that through their whole lives. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. And we'll have all the information up on our website, Arbor Day Celebration, coming up on the 15th. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be back.